Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Philadelphia System Open. This is day one. Hopefully, all of you guys are doing well. Uh, no co-host today. It is me and you. We're going to be holding hands throughout the entire day. Let's make sure to have a good time. Who's ready to have a good time? Let me see some gumboats in the chat if you are ready to have fun today. So let's go ahead and start by breaking down our first matchup here. We got Paul Sabrin Herzog versus Greg Burke. This is the SF off. Hey guys, we're like, what, like 14 days away from the Rise of Skywalker? Super pumped. Uh, excited to see what's gonna be happening there, but <laughs> am I distracting you? <laughs> so I am mixed up in, in it, amongst the players. Actually pretty cool, I'm like on the corner table here, uh, surrounded by players, so super excited. So, the list, on the left side, Paul, Saber and Herzog has Quick Draw, Scorch, and two Sinar Jameis Engineers. Quick Draw has Fanatical, Special Forces Gunner, and Fire Control System. Then you have Scorch with just Fanatical. And the last but certainly not the least, uh, both of those Sinar Jameis Engineers have nothing. But uh, they're all about having that double reposition when they can. It is a good chassis overall. We saw some early success at the beginning of second edition with those lower initiative silencers. Exciting to see what Paul does with them. On the right, we got Greg. He's got two Zeta Squadron survivors, both with advanced optics, making those two dice guns extremely consistent. Just like the A-Wings that like to carry that advanced optics, two hits all the time. Two hits, two hits, two hits. That's pretty much what you're going to see out of there, as long as you're getting some type of symbol and, uh, and a focus. So, uh, and excuse me, and a hit. Then you have Blackout with just Predator. Blackout, if you're not familiar with his ability, is an initiative five silencer, which is probably the number one reason why you bring it. And then also has the ability of while you perform an attack, if the attack is obstructed by an obstacle, the defender rolls two fewer defense dice. What happens there is basically a, a kind of a wedge ability. It's, uh, you know, I, you know, you get one, but then you get minus two. You know, it's, it's kind of strangely worded, but that's essentially how it works. It's worded that way, I believe, just to work with those obstacles. Um, then we have Quick Draw with Crack Shot, Special Forces Gunner, and Fire Control Systems. Go ahead and just take a look and see how things are, uh, are going. For those of you watching in the future, right now I'm working on the internet connection because it just uh, just turned off on me. So thank you for your patience as you guys watch. Paul taking a cautious approach. That should be good to go. <laughs> Let me know when, uh, when we're up and running, guys. Looks good to me. All right, seems like I'm back up. This is good. So let's go ahead and take a moment and talk about the approaches that both of these players are taking. Uh, each player decided to stay in their corner, kind of uh, start with a corner approach, which I think is really smart because, because these SFs, they can burn down pretty quickly with just that two agility, especially that most of the time they're holding on to that focus to make sure that they're getting, uh, getting hits. Um, I honestly think, you know, we're going to put up the choose choose your champion poll in a minute. 
Um, I, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Who, who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? I, I find the matchup pretty interesting, the choice of having those double silencers. Hey, Sticks999, 12-plus month subscription. Thank you so much. So that Choose Your Champion poll should be coming up here any second. It's very easy to participate. All you got to do is type one or two in the chat. I'm just going to slide that over to Greg's side right now. One is a vote for Paul, and two is a vote for Greg. Who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? I'm really curious to see what, uh, what you think. Peck 614, 18 plus months. It's 23 months of subbing in a row. That's pretty awesome. So go ahead, get your votes in, guys. One or two in the chat. So Paul deciding to come up the bottom of the board. Using the maneuverability, the five straight cannot be understated. I like the maneuverability here. All right, the one hard there commits you to this lane right here because the barrel roll won't quite get you all the way to the other side where you're sitting at the moment. I also want to remind you guys that our stream today will be a Mandalorian-free zone, okay? I know a new episode came out today. I have not watched it yet, and I'm sure a majority of us here have not watched it either. I will be watching it during the lunch break. But still, we want to we be nice to the people. Let's at least give them 48 hours. All right. Here's a boost. Again, we talked about committing to that, uh, that section right there. I actually really like the boost. I think it opens up uh, some possibilities here. You're able to turn right the next turn. And uh, I think the idea here is to kind of get a pincer into blackout. Now, a couple of notes about Blackout. A lot of times that, uh, that ability is not... you you got to be careful not to use, like, over overcommit for his ability. It's one of those where it's a nice to have. You really brought him because he's initiative five. All right, we've got the rotate here from Greg. And uh, basically those, those Zeta Squadron survivors don't have any need to have that arc to the front because they don't have a Special Forces gunner or any type of missile carrying. So you just go ahead and put it in the back and you have a two dice gun no matter what. And we're focusing up there. And before we go too far, I want to say thank you to Curl Paw Creatives for being our sponsor for today. Use coupon code UNPLUG2019 for 15% off a $15 or more order. And we're going to barrel roll towards the top of the board. Super excited to see how this weekend turns out. Now, for anybody who's joining us for the first time and maybe hasn't been paying attention to some of the, uh, some of the rules regarding the system opens, this season, the system open is going to be a hyperspace format uh, premiere style event. All the other premiere events are going to be extended, uh, but the system opens is hyperspace. So we have, of course, all the new content and any curated content that's been added to the format is, uh, is able to play. If you don't know what is in hyperspace and what's not, you can actually check out the documents on the Fantasy Flight Games website. And of course, most squad builders have that there as well. We have Scorch. Reaching for a target lock there, and that is in range. And I think that's going to actually be through the debris, so we might actually get a blackout ability trigger here pretty soon. Quick draws next to move. There's the hard two. So the SFs are going to be out of the fight. This is just going to be a one-on-one -on -one blackout versus the Sinar Jameis Engineer. Now, it is a range three shot, so overall the silencer... The silencer here is still going to end up with three defense dice and the gas cloud ability. Most likely should be okay, especially the fact that Blackout doesn't have any uh, any modifications on that attack. Except for the target lock, but I mean it's mm, with focus and gas cloud most likely not going to do a damage. I would probably try to hold on to that target lock. All 
All right, they're going to go ahead and take a look. Here's Blackout's attack. Uh, that's pretty close. Closest to closest. Looks like it's probably obstructed. They're going to go ahead and... Uh, it's like Paul's walking to the other side of the table. Want to confirm whether or not it is obstructed. Yep, and that's going to be over the gas cloud, it looks like. Here we go. Oh, it looks like it has tricked. There's an error in uh, setting up that overlay. Sorry about that. That's trick shot on blackout. Gas cloud, no damage. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to correct that here in a minute. All right, just one hit, no focus results. <laughs> Gas clouds make it possible. All right, so let me take a second and actually adjust the list here. So I had put in Predator instead of, instead of Trick Shot. That makes a lot more sense. They're both at 197. And give me a moment, everybody, while we do that. I want to remind you guys that I am flying solo today. So you guys, you in the chat, you are my co-pilots today. Let's make sure to have a good time. Keep it clean in the chat. Follow all the chat rules. Just be respectful. Have a good time. No Mandalorian spoilers. Basically, just don't be a jerk. It's the Gold Squadron policy. In the event that uh, a mistake is made on the stream, we'll do our best we can to correct it. I do have permission to, you know, call judges when things go wrong and adjust small things as needed. So we're good. All right, that's better. Trick shot, not predator. Oh, you crazy deal. Clicking wrong buttons. And of course, also watch out for the language in the chat. And make sure to keep it family friendly. Peck six one four eight zero. As soon as Twitch stops being a jerk and lets us be a partner, then we can get a, a the child emote. So, you know, we only have so many. Only have so many. When you become partner, you get you get access to so many, and uh, we can't right now. Now, for the purposes of YouTube, this is not children-directed content, okay? If you guys know what I'm poking fun at, the whole YouTube fiasco, all, all, all that stuff. So... This is this content is made for adults, but it is created in a family-friendly manner. So remember to participate in our Choose Your Champion poll. One for Paul, two for Greg. I'm going to close it once we start seeing these next set of dials. So go ahead, get your votes in now. Somebody asking, what does it take to get partner? Well, the docu the documented way to get partner is have an average of 75 viewers or more on average. Now, with our um, with our event coverage and our weekly streams, we are above the 75 average. But if you look at the uh, <laughs> if you look at the 
at, at the chart because our chart is uh, so event based, right? A majority of our viewers, of course, are during events, like right now. Um, Twitch is like, nah, bro, we need like 75 like every time. It's like, well, okay, we'll do the best we can. All right, getting aggressive with that silencer, the red, the red Sinar Jameis engineer, the red engineer. Is he a radar technician? I don't know. Maybe. Here we go. Hard turn into the alley. That is a hard two. Clears the stress with the blue maneuver. Might get a focus boost here to see if he can pin down. Blackout. Arc placement is pretty good at the moment. I think you still get a shot on there. Maybe you go ahead and just uh, just focus. So you have a little bit extra maneuverability. A little more options next turn. Peck 61480 says, so we need more people to watch the paint cast, the podcast, and Echo Base. You are correct. All right, and we're going to go ahead and barrel roll, widening the arc even more. You can set up to maybe get some options on the Thai SFs. All right, two forward here from one of the Zeta squadrons. That might actually bump. And I'm not sure. All right, and that does bump. So no, uh, no actions there. Deciding on an action here for the green Zeta. Going to take a focus. See what options we have. But that Zeta not having a focus token there, that, that might be the target of opportunity for Paul. Three straight from Scorch. I will address the mat during our next planning phase. See some people asking about it. <clears throat> 10 points to the house of anybody who knows where that mat comes from. And we're getting a barrel roll here from Scorch. Looks like Paul is really trying to make sure he gets a shot on Blackout. And Blackout is getting out of town. Three bank. Greg had a feeling that uh, Paul was going to be coming at him hard, so he's making sure to get him out of there. Still currently in the arc and range of the uh, Sinar Engineer. And focus boost, taking the focus for good measure. Again, that's a really good dial. And now with that position, you have the ability to just kind of get on the backside of that red engineer and start uh, chasing them down using that initiative advantage. Three straight and clips. Quick draw, no actions either. Now, while the Red Engineer does have a, quite a few shots going into it, uh, two out of the three are unmodded, so Paul is probably hoping not to take too much damage. And depending on how, because the Engineer is Initiative 1, He's going to get to see how that damage shakes out before it's his time to shoot. I would say that if he only takes maybe one shield total in the exchanges, you go ahead and you fire in a quick draw. 
All right, here is the first shot. This is Greg's quick draw. Two hits into the engineer. Defending, two evades, no damage. Next shot up should be the other quick draw, but I think she is out of range at the moment. Yeah, too far outside. Nothing there. Blackout is next. No shot. Now we're at the initiative two. Here is the first. It range one, three hits with no mods. That is, oof, that is high variance versus low variance right there. Uh, it's going to take the focus, takes two shields there. That is a tough, tough, uh, tough break there, honestly, for, for Greg going against an unmodified shot and losing both shields. Range two from the green Zeta. One hit, uses optics for two. And that's going to end up being half points right there on the Engineer. Well, I think you're just going to go ahead and go range one into yellow. There's no reason to go into quick draw. Ooh, Paul using that OG Gold Squadron podcast uh, range three ruler. Yeah, you focus into the yellow one. You got both shots into there. Going to go range three. This is going to be three on three. Has a focus mod. Hit crit. Takes a shield. Range one from the engineer into the yellow. Zeta, only one hit. Excuse me, only two. Got average there. All right, so traded half points in the Zeta for half points on the engineer. Um, of course, in that exchange, Greg is up on top, ending with 26 points versus 18. We'll see how things end up shaking out. How's it going, guys? XPav says, one of my employees took the day off to go to PAX. If you see him, say hi. I, I will. I don't know if, how, how I'll know who he is, but if I have that feeling, that disturbance in the force, I will make sure to tell him that you say hi. Now, the mat here, this is the Fly Better Grand Championship mat. Um, I, this, is, this is your free preview of it. If you guys don't know, I am very good friends, basically family, with the Fly Better folks, Ryan and D. So uh, it, it's, it's the perks. You know, they were like, hey, Dion, we got the mat. Y you, you want to? And I was like, sure, let's make it happen. EpQuest says, I was going to go to PAX, but I punked out going alone after my friend backed out. It's all right, man. It's all right riding solo. Because you're only riding solo till you get to the X-Wing event. Once you're here... You got tons of people to hang on with. Be like, hey, let's go get food, people. You will definitely have uh, you have people to hang out with. So next time. Now, someone asking me in the chat if I am for giving cats salami. I, uh, I, I don't care for cats personally. Not that I hate them. I just not a cat guy. But uh, I, I enjoy cats enough to make... Uh, I made D and Ryan a uh, a fun little shirt, fun little uh, salami cat gang shirt. That'll be uh, debuted on their Facebook page when they receive it. They have it. They don't even know that. They don't know that's what I'm sending them. But I'm telling you guys because D's here, and I know he's far away from me that uh, he he can't hear me. And uh, Ryan's working right now, so got him. So player count for this event, I think we are just over 100. Just over 100. Vince, how many players do we have today? You know how many X-Wing players we have? 96. 96. All right, 96 X-Wing players here at the Philadelphia System Open. Thank you to Yeti Games for getting us all set up here at... Yeti Gaming, excuse me, Yeti Gaming for getting us all set up. <laughs> Super excited uh, to be working with them here this season at the System Open. All right, here we go. Sign our engineer. Flips that dial. Five straight, getting out of town. Has a maneuverability to, uh, 
to reset as needed because he's so fast, just so fast. But he's got to watch out for those two dice guns out the back. Those Zeta Squadron Survivors could just go one forward and continue plinking into it. There is the focus token. All right, there's the boost. Trying to extend the range, making sure that if he's taking shots, making sure that it's at range two or three. I Three, ideally. And just out of range is probably the best. <laughs> but has a real easy hard two uh, next turn to get out. All right, here is the purple Cyanar also going five straight. I'm guessing we're going to see a focus boost into the face or a barrel roll, a focus barrel roll, just to clog up some lanes and take some shots into possibly quick draw without getting retaliated. Actually, I really like that barrel roll. Focus barrel roll is the call. And there is the barrel roll going to the top of the board. Getting in the way. We'll see what 3D chess Greg plays in order to uh, respond to this. Somebody asked in the chat if I ate breakfast today. I did. In fact, I did. I ate breakfast while Marcel was uh, taking a shower. Okay. So Greg using the SF platform to his advantage, making sure that he has the back arc on. There's the focus. Again, it's the same whether you're shooting out the front or the back. So the SFs don't care if they're being chased. Quick draw is really the only one who wants to be face to face with people. doing the side-to-side -side method here on the green SF. So Paul trying to get in the face with those SFs, and Greg saying, no, 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 that's not how these guys play. You come, you come chase me. All right, Scorch also stepping on the gas. Five straight should be able to get into the fight. One of the things that might hurt Paul in the long run is in that first engagement you know, keeping his chips so spread out, we'll see if they can all get shots on target. Of course, Red is facing towards the top of the board and right now can't actually get a shot, but um, for what's left. All right, we're going to go ahead and close down the Choose Your Champion poll. Looks like people are favoring Paul. We'll see how that goes uh, in the match. I want to remind you guys that we will be live all the way through the all six rounds. If you see the connection drop out or it goes black here for a second, I'd appreciate your patience. It'll, we'll spin it up as fast as we can. We are on a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, it's not my, 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 my router. I had a little bit of weird accent there for a second. Uh, not my router. And it's, it's acted a little funny even so far. So we'll, 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 we'll do the best we can with what we got. And there is the barrel roll from Blackout. And boost. All right, waiting for the next chip. Quick draws, I believe, are, are up next. Jack1138, thank you so much for watching, man. Star Fury Omega, thank you for the sub. Ah, put it where you want. <laughs> it happens, it happens. 
I've seen even the best players bump their ships. As for sub goals, we're trying to hit 150 this weekend. We're trying to see if we can get there. And that's going to be a bump for sure. All right, good enough for Jazz. All right, three bank from quick draw should be at range three in this engagement. But I think uh, if I think the purple signar should take a shot in the quick draw here is a perfect opportunity. All right, quick draw taking the target lock onto the other quick draw. No consequences. All right, three dice because of Special Forces Gunner coming from Paul's quick draw. That is number pink, and it is range three. So it's going to be three on three. Has a target lock. You go ahead and spend that. I would spend the lock, Paul. I know you have fire control, but you don't have any way to modify that. Uh, and you don't have any shots coming in, so should be all right. There we go. Hit crit crit. That's the right choice. And all three shields coming off on quick draw. No consequences. That is absolutely massive for Paul. That's half point scored. Quick draw never getting to do her ability. Now she is as good as a generic SF. She's just initiative six. All right, and here's Blackout going into the purple Sinar. Ability isn't on, is on along with Trick Shot. Two hits and a crit, and gonna go ahead and Gas Cloud for hit crit, and that's two shields on to purple. All right, checking to see range here from Scorch. It is range two. Probably going to take the stress here in order to pump up that attack to three. There it is. He's going to have three attack dice using Scorch's ability. And that's average. Spends a focus for two. Going to take another one. Quick draw down to two hole. A lot of damage being put out there right now. The initiative twos are up. Both those SFs, the green and the yellow, have focus tokens. Probably going to go, be going into that Sinar, especially with that threat of a range one shot going into his quick draw. Sinar does have a focus. It's hiding underneath that stress token. Let's see what the attack is. Uh, one hit. Let's use the focus for two. Looking for some good dice here. Oof. Ah. Risky business here. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. I take it. Take it. Just take it. Here we, there we go. I think that's the right choice. You should be able to survive on one next turn with some average dice. Judge. Two hits. Looking for one. There it is. Oh, man, not getting any evades here. That stinks. I mean, it ended up being the same result, not spending it last term, but that is tough. A range one shot and a quick draw. Hoping to take him off the board. 4v2. Four v four v Here is the attack. Three hits. That's above average. Going for it. And takes it. Quick draw taken off the board. That means that Paul is up now, 76 to 52. Taking that, that three bank and uh, bumping himself 
ended up hurting quite a bit. Just a little bit of mismeasuring there. Now with quick draw off the board, and you know, we're here we're gonna have the opportunity to see both the advantage and disadvantage of quick draw. If the if quick draw never gets to use her ability, you have paid a significant amount of points for I mean you get initiative six, but you're you're never getting to actually use that ability. In a perfect world, you're plinking away one shield at a time, one shield per turn, and you get to attack three extra times. Not getting any retaliation to shots is huge. You also don't have, you don't have the control. <laughs> you don't have the control uh, that that exists with having that that ability available. When you have the threat there, you make people second guess where to go. Paul has all three of those shields up on his quick draw, which means he has that threat active. Greg being behind needs to be more aggressive, but of course being more aggressive in this case could be detrimental to him. We'll see how it ends up shaking out. As we're hanging out here, want to remind you guys that there's a lots of different ways you can actually support Gold Squadron Podcast. If you enjoy our content, you can type exclamation point Prime to learn how to use your Amazon Prime in order to donate money. Yes, it's donate. It doesn't cost you anything to our Twitch channel. You can also do exclamation point Patreon to see uh, some of the awesome things that we are giving to our patrons this time around maybe you saw it during the wait screen we got lots of awesome gifts we also have a bunch of new merch on our website goldsquadronpodcast.com including our this is the way line of shirts you got uh triple blanks this is the way you got crit 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 this is the way and also natty evades this is the way you go ahead, take a look goldsquadronpodcast.com or exclamation point merch That'll take you, that'll give you the link directly to uh, the shop there. Lots of different designs. All right, Johnny Ray drives safely, my friend. All right, time to get moving here. The red engineer hard tuning back into the fight. Catherine, next era, you're right. I made three versions because you know you got those people who just always seem to have really hot red dice. Those people who just blank out all the time, and those people who just you know it's like natties just all the time. All, all, all the natty evades, so it's perfect. Again, all you got to do is type exclamation point merch and you can take a look at the store. If you're a patron, I did post some coupons uh, for you guys, some coupon codes for you guys on Patreon for on some patron-only posts. So if you place an order, make sure you use those. Deciding the action here. He's deciding to barrel roll to the right. Had the option to boost down. But basically delaying the engagement there a little bit with red so he can turn back in. And looks like it's a barrel roll boost was the call. And we'll see what the purple Sinar is doing. Two bank, just wanting to get rid of the stress. Also most likely gets him in a spot where Blackout cannot tag him for shots. Though looking at the position, he might end up losing that Sinar without getting shots depending on what Greg did with his SFs.
And oh, he's going to get a shot here. Hard two from yellow towards the bottom of the table. If you're just joining us, you are watching a broadcast of the Philadelphia System Open. And yes, just like last season and the season before that, I will be at every single United States System Open. So make sure you guys hit that follow button so you guys know what's going on all the time. Oh, getting that D. Yoon hug. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. Here's Scorch. All right, two bank towards the top of the board. So maybe trying to anticipate where Blackout is going a little bit. We'll see, see where that is. Hard turn there, so it looks like Scorch is not going to get tagged here, but also won't have any shots. A blackout. No mods. One bank here from Quick Draw. I think he was anticipating those SFs possibly going up towards the top of the board, but... Paul saying he, he thought about going straight. Uh, he's going to go ahead and attempt the barrel roll here. Now that's going to be close. He'll probably go as far back as possible if it fits, and it does. That's going to be a range one shot. Going to be threatening blackout right there, daring Greg to fire at him. Mind you, he doesn't have any mods, so we'll see how that, uh, how that shakes out. The red dice have been pretty aggressive this turn. Excuse me, uh, this game, so we'll see how it goes. By the way, Paul is sub hedgehog. If you guys are a regular here at Gold Squadron Podcast, uh, this is that's sub hedgehog. If, if, if you've seen him before, heard me say his name. First attack, that seems pretty good. Hit crit crit versus three dice, and that's pretty good as well. Uh, only taking one shield on blackout. Blackout is up. Going to go ahead and fire back at quick draw. Range one, 4v2. Looking at maybe some other options. I don't think he has any. <laughs> the bunny of doom saying they heard the chat the the green dice heard the chat smack talking about them <laughs> yeah we got evades somewhere on here i think bunny of doom asked me earlier what do i think of bunnies um i mean they're cute i like seeing them outside i'd never have one as a pet here we go hit crit so he decided not to fire with blackout One crit goes through, stunned pilot, and that means that that Sinar is taken off the board as it is initiative killed without taking a shot. And that makes it so that Greg is leading now by one point. The red Sinar might have some range here. 
That's pretty close. That is a judge call. All right, looks like it is in range. Checking out the obstruction. I think we are clean there. Waiting on that attack. That's going to be 3v4. No mods on either side. Paul, I actually love what he just said. This is just this is all safe. All sheer athletic ability. No modifications. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So no damage there. Now let's talk about the pieces that have been lost so far. Um, on Paul's side, he lost one of these silencers, but being able to take out quick draw is absolutely huge. Even though Paul's behind in points, I think in the next 27 minutes, he's going to be able to catch up because of the tools he has available. We already saw the strength of quick draw just on that last turn when Greg's like, no, I'm not going to shoot quick draw, which quick draw is fine with that because she's not taking damage. She's holding on to her shields, which means that she's just waiting for that ability to go off. It's pretty fantastic. Somebody was asking earlier what uh, what are the different commands we have? I don't have a, a full list. The exclamation point commands uh, doesn't actually show everything. It has some of them on there. It's weird. I gotta work on the exclamation point commands command. <laughs> now, for those of you who are watching right now, I always like to see where you're watching from. We got 179 people on this Friday morning. Let us know. As for giveaways today, yes, we do have giveaways. We have some premier level stuff that we got being brought to you by District Foundry. Orlando, Brazil, Peru, my South Americans. Man, I wanted to make it so bad down to your guys. Uh, you guys had a, a grand championship down there. And you guys invited me. I couldn't quite make it. I was sad. So sad. France, Poland. Love it. It was amazing. I'm glad you guys had a good time. I heard that uh, things might be getting a little bit better down there. Hopefully that's true. When it comes to your guys, uh, at least the organized play side. I know that distribution is still an issue down there, but one thing at a time. We'll see, see how it ends up shaking out. I want to remind you guys that you can use coupon code UNPLUGGED 2019 for 15% off, $15 or more at curlpawcreatives.com. If you need the link, you can go ahead and type exclamation point CPC and, uh, and you can get the link to the shop. <laughs> Had a fantastically awkward moment there a minute ago. Reached my hand out to shake a hand. Like, hey, but they didn't see me. So now I'm sad. Uh, 
All right, looks like dials are set and we should be ready to go here. You win? All right. If you guys know names out there, the, the Ryan Fleming got a W in round one. Judge. Judge. Engineering man, that that is a, a command that I could I could work with maybe during the break if we have a little bit of space here between rounds. We can do some stuff. All right, there's focus barrel roll. Has a blackout target lock on him. Not the world famous podcaster Ryan Fleming. This is the the world famous. the The podcaster is Ryan Farmer. Fleming is out of Pittsburgh. Barrel roll here from the green SF setting up that back arc. Hoping for some shots. Readjusting that stress token that is on blackout. One forward here. Doing the SF shuffle saying, hey, if you follow me, I'll keep shooting you. Lou the Lunatic asking if there's any It's the Resistance out there. I don't know. Um, didn't get a chance to really see lists. From where I'm sitting right now, I see some Jedi. I see some Vultures. Nantex, X-Wings. Ty SFs. I see a Upsilon. And uh, I kind of have an, I have an obstructed view right now. So that's, that's all I see from where I am right now. We're going to go ahead and attempt the barrel roll here with Scorch. Try to get guns on target. Try to see if he can get a shot into the green SF. Does it fit? And that touch, so barrel roll does fail. Gus888 asking, what, do we think the Razor Crest coming to X-Wing anytime soon? Huh? Marcel Manzano, how'd you do round one? Oh, 200 zero. Mm -hmm. Just slapping people around, coming to Philadelphia. <laughs> what, what list did you play against? Fenrau, uh, Sivor, Sivor, and two, uh, and two Star Vipers with Crack Shot. Interesting. One of the interesting things for Scum, or I mean, I would say tough things for Scum, is the fact that the Hawk, which is an absolutely amazing piece of tech for them, that Tor Torquil Mux. Uh, Sivor, Triple Kirax list being very powerful. Uh, the Kirax and the Hawk, neither of those are hyperspace legal, so not able to be played in this format. Marcel is playing his Republic list that he played at the World Championships. Conveniently, was also hyperspace legal, so he's got plenty of competitive reps with that. There is the sloop for quick draw, takes a stress, getting that gun on target. Quick draw is up first. Checking to see if it's obstructed, it's a straight line. And that looks like a yes.
All right, so it looks like they're calling it unobstructed. Because they are parallel. All right, three on two. There's average, one hit. And gets the evade. Next up, we have the Zetas. Excuse me, not the Zetas, uh, Scorch. And that seems to be range two. All right, taking the stress in order to get that extra dice. And no mods. Blank out. Earlier, Scorch failed a barrel roll. Did not take a mod, and there is one hit. This is on to Scorch. Range two, Natty's out, baby. There we go. Now this is pod racing. Corey. All right, hit crit. And loses one shield there on Scorch. All right, waiting for that next shot. Nothing, just one. And gets it through the gas cloud from the red Sinar. So no, uh, no damage done by Paul that turn. Greg able to get a single shield out of Scorch. Right now, it looks like the players are doing the math. One thing I had a dream about one time, and I think could be really cool, uh, but it'd have to be an official thing. I couldn't do it. Or, or like a community stream type of thing, uh, is setting up a scoreboard by the uh, actual table. Kind of make it like a sports, sports game. You know, you know, you always know where you stand when making decisions. Have a cool, like, timer and the score up there for you. I always thought that it could be cool. Again, couldn't be an official event. Had to be... Something used at uh, community events. But still could be fun. Saves time. And Ryan Farmer makes a, uh, an appearance in the stream saying, man, that fly better LVO match sure is nice. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Yeah, it's so. Uh, I would say I'm gonna work on my uh, my contrast a little bit. Rocks are a little bit tough because gotcha. the what's the word I'm looking for? The the hue is really similar, yeah. right? All the other ones are fine. It's ro rocks are a little weird, but after looking at it for a while, I'm I'm, I'm fine. Like I, I can right. see everything now. And that one, yeah. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Gotcha. Sure is pretty though. I have some uh, I have some some ability to work on the shot here a little bit. Can't do it at the moment. I mean I could just walk away, leave you guys alone, but I would I wouldn't want to do that. Peritas in the chat says Fly Better should uh should sell those mats on their store. I think the whole I think the point is that it's it's exclusive to the event. They want people you got to come to the event.
<laughs> they added it to something where you didn't have to go to Vegas. Yeah, I get it. But I think I think that's why it's exclusive. So Ryan getting hit up in the chat saying, hey, can we, can we buy these mats any other way? Ryan, what if you have extra mats? If, if you have extra mats. Hmm. Hmm. Only available at the flyback. I told you guys, only available at the event. And here's the boost. I want to remind you guys that all these games will be uploaded to our YouTube channel in the coming weeks. So if you miss any of the games that might happen later on, you are good to go. Do not worry. We got you faded. Some people asking, is there a system open mat this year? There doesn't. Uh, there is not. There is no system open mat. I think the... Uh, I would guess by looking at the prizes, the budget used for those mats has basically been shifted over to adding more prizes. You got those uh, those boxes that got added, which are pretty cool. The cardboard. And by the looks of it, with the number of tickets they're handing out and things, I think that uh, you end up walking away with more stuff overall, which is awesome. All right, that SF's going to have a, a good shot into the red Sinar. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. I, I actually, all those system open mats you guys saw me use, I never, uh, they, weren't, they were not mine to own. Got to hunt one down. I'm sure FFG has them in a pile somewhere in a warehouse. All right, target lock check range here for Scorch. Paul's got to do some damage this turn. Less than 10 minutes left in the round. Fanatical is live on Scorch. Imagineering man asking in the chat, do I think that we'll see 25 point defenders in January? Nope. But you can use uh, you can use this emo in the chat if uh, if it makes you feel any better. Little confusion there, but we're all good. Here's a hard three from Blackout, trying to get back into the fight. All right. Oh, it was a talent roll, okay. Oh, quick draw, hoping not to bump there. Looks like it clears. I think that's fine. That's good. Now, at the moment, he has a range three shot onto the yellow survivor. I think you stay right there, take a target lock. There it is. It is a range three shot here coming from quick draw into the yellow survivor. It's going to be three on four. He's got a target lock here. 
and fire control system. Ah, you spend that lock. There's no reason not to. Just try again. You get a redo. One hit. Natties, baby. Let's see the natties in the chat. Reaching here. Blackout is going to have a shot here at the red Sinar. And the obstruction is going to definitely be judge dependent. Checking to see if the shot is obstructed. If it is, that means that Blackout's getting an additional attack die and is able to remove a defense dice from the opponent uh, into defending. It's a close one. Brent Wong. Getting a chair. Brett mounting the chair. Getting the. I wish I had that, over cam, that overhead cam right now, but we discontinued the overhead cam. Just in case, I know a couple people had asked about it. That's a really close one. You know what would make his life easier? I think if Brett had some Curled Paw Creative Judge templates, new item on the Curled Paw Creative Store, that would make his life so much easier. Use exclamation point <laughs> CPC to get that link to the, uh, to the store and use coupon code UNPLUG2019. And obstruction is uh, denied. This is going to be three on three. And four dice. He's already had half. He could take one. He's going to go ahead and spend the focus to not take any damage because he does have a couple shots coming in from those SFs here at the bottom of the board. Uh, here's Scorch, fanatical, into yellow. He's debating whether to spend the focus or not. Right now he's taking hit crit. Spend the focus, takes a crit. Listening in. It is a fuel leak onto the yellow survivor. Darth Revan, 1979. Listen, he learned from the best, all right? Whiffs there on that range one attack. And whiffs again. Now, I will say that those def earlier he had some pretty awesome defense rolls. Things are just kind of leveling out. Ends up with one and takes one. One health left on the Sinar. There we go. <laughs> that was Greg got a little confused there. Here's the silencer going into yellow. See if he can put the nail in the coffin. Four dice. No mods, though. Hit crit. Probably pushes the crit through here. And no. Whiffs him. And takes him off the board. Yellow Zeta off 
94 points scored by Paul to Greg 77. Greg would need to score 18 points to be in the lead. We under three minutes left. Where could those 18 points come from? Well, half of Scorch is 18 points. That would put Greg ahead. Of course, half of Quick Draw would definitely do it as well. And of course, eliminating the Sinar, uh, the Red Sinar would do it as well. Now with two minutes left, that leaves them one to two turns left. One to two turns left. What are some of the options we have here? So if I'm Greg, again, I don't know how, how aware he is of the game state. Um, that red silencer can get in a pretty good position. Hmm, interesting. Interesting here. I actually think that Paul's in a bad spot because, all right, a two forward focus gives Blackout a huge space in order to try to catch either the silencer or Scorch in this huge net and only needs to do a single damage to either of them to be ahead on points. And this will be the last turn with only a minute left to go. So th that's what Paul, uh, excuse me, that's what Greg needs to do. And he can also just one forward uh, this guy and have that arc to the back. Uh, that Zeta is completely healthy, hasn't taken any damage um, I, don't I don't mind. You can ask him. I just want to look at the points on the stream. Am I allowed to do that or have to calculate myself? Oh, I don't yeah, you good? 94 to 77. Thank you. All right, players just asking for the score there. And Paul's very aware there. He said, half of any ship will do. Telling to Greg. We did just lose our connection there. Should be spinning back up here any second. And time just got called right there. Paul trying to decide what's the best place for him to go in order to be defensive. I think you take you take the silencer. You go five straight focus boost right there in the corner. Okay, you take that one. Scorch is the harder one. Oof. I don't know if you can protect. I actually think you need to get a gr He's going that way. He's going to focus and boost probably to the right. It's the last turn. Yep, he's going to that board edge. So same idea. Now, I still think going down here would have given him a little bit more distance. Also, would avoid the obstruction from Blackout. If Blackout just does that two forward there, uh, that's going to probably be in range. The SF, where's he going? One bank. All right, that helps. That... That's that's close. We'll see. Last starfighter asking, "Want the two forward land on the rock?" No, no, that's clean. That's clean, for show. 
How sure do you own? I'm so sure. And Scorch going in aggressive. See, the, if he can. He's going for an evade. And there is the two straight. And clean, like I said. <laughs> two straight is fine. Quick draw turning out. So I think this is a bit of a misplay here by Paul. Um, by feeding. I think I would have brought quick draw in for a shot because if you can get half points off of off of blackout, you would uh, you would pull back yourself ahead as well. Has the lock, three hits. You got half no matter what here on uh, on Scorch. Just hoping for no bad. All right, all right, so no, doesn't take any crits there. There's half points. Greg needs to score something in order to win. Anything will do. Range two through a rock. He'll take the stress, it's gonna be three on four because it is obstructed. Fanatical is on. Two hits. Hoping for only one squiggle. Oh! It goes through, but that's not enough. That's not enough. 94 to 95 is going to be the final score. I got excited at first, but not quite. Needed one more on blackout to get the half. And that is the game. Congratulations to Greg for taking game one of the Philadelphia system open. It's been a great match, absolutely great match. Now, how are you all doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm here in Philadelphia um, do, doing our thing, man. We, we just had an awesome, great game. I'm totally stalling because I forgot to bring up the uh, giveaway screen. There it is. Now. For giveaways, uh, I want to remind you guys, it's very easy to participate. All you literally have to do is type anything in the chat. You can put an emote, you can type something. Uh, I know some people out there don't like to, to, to play in the chat, but listen guys, it's so fun. It's so fun, you win free stuff. Now, a um, couple of the cool things I have today, uh, or one of the cool things I have today that's gonna be given away tomorrow is the, oh, which by the way, this looks so good, okay? The new GSP uh, kit here from, uh, from District Foundry, shout out District Foundry, our sponsor, use code UNPLUG2019 to uh, get 15% off uh, of, of his shop. And uh, this, is, this is absolutely beautiful. We actually, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's like 3D, he didn't just like, like it's not all the same level, it, it just looks real good. You got, like, the white is popping out. Oh, it's so beautiful. He did such a good job on this. Somebody's going to be getting this tomorrow during the final. Now, today, what we're going to be doing is, uh, for this event, is we're going to be doing GSP mystery boxes. Mystery boxes, yeah. So 
Why, Dion? Well, I'll, I'll be very honest with you guys. I have so many different things that I could give away. And uh, right now, we got a little bit of a surplus, I would say, in the, in the warehouse. And uh, so I figured, what's the best way? It's like, I couldn't bring all the stuff I want to give away. So what we're going to be doing for the, for the mystery boxes is that, you, so you, your prize, you write GSP mystery box when you win. And uh, you will get three, three pieces of swag. And of those three pieces of swag, once in a while, there'll be something, you know, a little extra special like booster packs, but they were free because you didn't have to do anything except watch the stream, all right? So, uh, should be good. Should be good. I, I'm, I'm excited to do it. It'll be really fun packing them uh, because literally what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make a bunch of sets, three different things. We got cards from all over, like literally all over the world, countries from, uh, sorry, from squadrons all over the con uh, different countries. It's, it's absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, give away four of those right now, okay? Four absolutely random uh, packs. My man, you playing? Oh. Having some fun? Yeah, I'm just here hanging out. It's the first show I've been back at work. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and give away four sets. Now, somebody said, no loot boxes. Hey, listen, you didn't have to pay for this, though. That's the difference. Okay, a loot box that's crummy is when you have to you gotta pay for it. You didn't have to pay for this. All right, here we go. Let's give it away. Let's do it. Three, two, one. The first GSP mystery box goes to the Fly and the Mighty. The second one goes to Legal Blockade. The third one goes to Librarian 101, and the last but not least goes to Ben Fett. Want to remind you guys, all you have to do is type exclamation point win in the chat. A form will pop up. Make sure to completely fill that out. Fill it out with all the information. If the information is not complete or correct, I can't ship it to you because I, there, we spend so much money on shipping that if, if the address is not complete, I'm just gonna take that, that envelope and toss it. Like I can't, I can't afford to send things out that end up getting bounced back. Like I just, I can't, I can't do it guys. It hurts too much. So make sure you guys completely fill that out. We're gonna be getting started here with round two. I'm gonna guess in about 10 minutes. Now, uh, obviously different than usual, I brought a, a, an actual camera for the, for the commentary face cam. Do you guys like it? I mean, the other option is the like laptop cam, which I guess I can I can bring that up here as well. Let me let me. I'm just curious. What do you guys think? Do you prefer A or B? This is what you're used to. I understand that. Let me know. Was it worth bringing that other camera? What do you think? I want to know. I want. It's important to me to know how you feel. Okay. So, we'll be back here in about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, get that wait screen prepped for you guys. Again, you guys just watched. Oops, where'd, where'd, that, where'd that thing go? You guys just watched round one. We're going to have round two coming up here. In about 10 minutes, it'll be 12.50. PM, is that right? Phone, yes. All right. 12.50 PM ish. All right, we'll have round two of the Philadelphia System Open. We'll be back. <laughs> 